Hello everyone, breaking headline parody story report entertainment show. A black so-called comedian Tracy Morgan was at a show in Nashville and uh, he is alleged to say uh, if he would stab his son to death if he ever discovered that he was gay and some uh, people have uh, criticized him for this statement and uh, he come out later and uh, apologized uh, um, I think he should lose his job he's worked for some big companies I've noticed that um, seem like African Americans can dish out a lot of shit but uh but they 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 can't take it they'll call you white people white boy white boy white boy if you call them a black boy they'll stab you to death they'll kill you they they're bullies they're bullies and uh a lot of them are racist that uh, they they hate white people for having colored water fountain, white water fountain, colored bathroom, white bathroom, but they say that they can call each other a boy because that's my, that's my homeboy, that's my boy. Or they can call each other racial slur because they say that's 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 my that's my racial slur. That uh, they can call each other dog, shit bag, shit head, shit face, shit dog, dog shit, shit bag, punk bitch, nappy headed fool. Cause it's it's some. It's a black thing, but uh, blacks, they don't want you white people to say honey, sweetie, and dear. There was a Star Jones on The Apprentice Show. She said a white man was disrespecting her because he said, honey, please listen to me, sweetie, please. You don't understand, dear. And uh, she said she he was talking down to her and disrespecting her, but they went to Donald. Tr <laughs> they went to Donald Trump's court, and Donald Trump ruled. Said, "Look, Star Jones, you can't get along with Meatloaf. You can't get along with anybody." And uh, this this white man that called her honey, sweetie, and dear said, uh, uh, I, I, I didn't mean anything disrespectful towards her. I meant it as courtesy. And Donald Trump ruled, I, I believe you. You didn't mean anything disrespectful. said, Star Jones, you're fired. He fired her. I think he did the right thing. I've had a lot of trouble with African Americans. They're bullies. They they call each other racial slurs, and they've attacked me for saying you people, y'all, us, them, dude, buddy, watermelon, cantaloupe, BC, RC, milk of magnesia. There's a lot of words they've attacked in me for, for just because I'm white. No other reason just because I'm white. I keep trying to tell them that's, that's racism, that's racist. But uh, one, one black man said that the black man can't be racist, it's just, just the white man. I want to break away for a second to tell you my disclaimer. 
Some of the names have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty, and some of the pictures have been changed to protect the innocent and the guilty. And everything in my parody story entertainment show is a parody. Not to be taken seriously. Don't take anything I say personal. Don't try anything I say at home. If you do, check with your attorney first, and then still don't do it. I'm a professional. No amateur should ever try anything I say. If you disagree with my disclaimer, get your happy ass off my channel immediately. Now I'm going to get back to this Tracy Morgan. He's a black man, real cocky. He hates gays. And uh, I know of some other people he hates. I'm not going to say it right now, but I know. I know a lot of other people that he hates. Uh, he's a hater. He's a hater. He is definitely a hater. And uh, he's a real evil man. And uh, his, you know, they say you can take a white boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the white boy. And you can take a black man out of the hood but you can't take the hood ways out of a black man. This this black man, Tracy Morgan, uh, he's got a lot of problems. I think he needs to seek help, and I hope he gets fired. Uh, Al Sharpton, of course, he's not going to jump on this. If he was a white man, he would jump on it and get him fired. But I'm calling him to be fired. I think he needs to be fired. He's a racist person. He's he's evil, very evil. In my opinion, he's a very evil man. And uh, I, I want to tell you who I am. I'm Rodney Dangerfield's cousin. You know my cousin, he don't get no respect. I don't get no respect. It seemed like after my cousin deceased, a monkey jumped on my back. Everywhere I go, I don't get no respect. I went to buy me a pack of cigarettes and a bitch boy, I'm 63 years old, a bitch boy <laughs> carded me for ID. I said, hey pal, I'm 63 years old. Then I went to get me a six pack of beer. Another bitch boy carded me, told him I was 63, still carded me. Then I went to get something to eat at a family restaurant, went to pay my bill. Another bitch boy was charging me full price. I said, hey pal, I want my senior citizen's discount. He carded me. And then I took my wife to a dude ranch. She left me for a black dude. My wife turned gay on me. I said, honey, why would you turn gay? She said, well, men like you in the world that makes her turn gay. And one day my wife and I was fixing to make love and she was on the bed like in a bigger four position, just in a deep stare. I said, honey, what's wrong? You can't think anyone to fantasize you had sex with while we make love? She said, no. I said, hell with it, neither can I. So we, we didn't even make love that day. So uh, the pressure was getting to me. And I went on the internet to freepornphonesex.com and a girl, so, hey lover boy, I'm having a party in my mouth. Would you like to come? It's a real sexy graphic story. My dingling got excited and then I said, I want to talk to a live girl. I called a live girl. She said my voice was too ugly for her to talk to over the telephone. Then I needed to generate some money. So I went to free buy, sell, trade, anything.com. I put a 55 Chevy on there and sold it for $3,000. Then my wife, well, people say, why would your wife leave you for a black man? I said, well, I guess she want to get back with her own color. But we got a divorce, and then I went on and found a young girl in the personal section of free, buy, sell, trade, anything, dot com. She's Caucasian. We're engaged. We make love three or four times a day if she wants to have my baby. That's my show. God bless you.